I thought I should make a video since I have lost more weight since the last video which was surprisingly popular. I couldn't believe how many views that got in like a week. Um, I'm still losing weight. I've lost another, just another two kilos since um, the last video because there's been a lot of ups and downs um, in my life and my emotions and my eating. Um, so in the last video I completely cut out wheat and sugar from my diet <laughs> and had, you know, full intentions of, of doing that for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, that didn't work. Um, I, it was actually a bit of a learning experience for me because I always thought that that is the healthiest way to eat. You know, I've got belly fat. I think that suits me and my genetics and my, you know, low carb, no refined carbs. I thought it wasn't that low carb. Like, I was eating rice and potato. But, um... Yeah, so no refined carbs, no wheat, no sugar, um, no cane sugar. Like, I was still having a little bit of honey and fruit and stuff like that. But no cane sugar, no processed foods of any kind, basically just quite clean, natural eating. And it sounds great in theory, and it sounds like it should make you feel wonderful. And it did make me feel... I was fine with it. For two weeks, I was like... When I'd get hungry, I'd think, yeah, I want something really high protein and low carb, like it wasn't a problem for the first two weeks. But then, after about two, yeah, two weeks, I started to feel really ill. I started to feel really nauseous. Some other bodily things, which I'm not going to go into, but that were signs of just like excess protein to low carb ketosis type stuff. But I wasn't eating that low carb though. And I didn't feel that my protein intake was that high, but maybe I didn't quite realize how much I was having. But it got to the point where I had protein aversion. I could not smell or look at anything high protein, a boiled egg or a piece of fish or anything like that. I would look at it or even think about it and gag, literally gagged. And I'm not a, a vomity type of, you know, gaggy person at all. And yeah, I just, my body was telling me, no, this is not working. It wasn't a, it wasn't a self-discipline issue or like, you know, you caved into your cravings type thing. It didn't feel like that at all. It felt like this is wrong. My body does not like this. I need high carb diet. And that's all there is to it. So I am eating relatively high carb now. I haven't gained any inches off you know, from what I lost. I think the change on my body shape was actually due to the cardio and everything, not not really what I was eating. I know personal trainers and every fitness guru out there says, you know, in terms of belly fat and body shape that it's 80% diet and 20% exercise or something. I think that is an absolute load of shit. <laughs> like, I have been eating... Uh, a, quite varied but you know I have been eating um, white pita bread and pasta and some processed things here and there and not particularly high protein anymore and my body shape is still the way it is because I've kept up the exercise because I have to because um, I've actually been having a lot of anxiety which out of every emotion you could possibly have, I just can't do anxiety. Anxiety and grief, can't do. Just yuck, ew, go away. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been really taxing on my body because my anxiety is so physical. It's, you know, the heart palpitations and the buzzing in your chest and the butterfly churning in your stomach and it completely puts me off my food so I've been eating less than I probably should some days but I'm also trying to be trying to help myself by having enough protein and um, 
leafy greens and B vitamins and everything for like neurotransmitter synthesis and I'm having fish oil and, and I have to exercise at least daily, sometimes twice a day to try and burn some of the adrenaline. So yeah, I'm not really enjoying <laughs> this weight loss, but it is nice that I'm not, you know, pregnant looking anymore. I mean, I've still, I've still got the pot belly, but it's not anything like it was before. So back in the day when I was always trying to lose weight and everything, um, my waist was 43 inches. Ew. So let's just, let's just see how big that was. So that's how big my waist was before. Horrid. <laughs> and now, I can't remember what I was in my last video. I think it was about 35 or 36 or something like that. So, I think that's about 34. Right here, I'm 42 there. Here, I used to be 43. So if you think my like my waist was 43 and my hips were 43, so I've definitely changed my body shape because now I'm nine inches smaller here and only one inch smaller here. So and I'm not doing anything crazy with my diet. I'm just doing a lot of cardio. So this isn't really the most flattering outfit, but I'll pull this a bit tighter to show.